Hey there guys, this is Coach Tim with Revved Up Man, and I got an exciting review video for you today on my experience with Shift Shop. This is Beachbody's all new three week program that came out very recently. I just finished it up. You see a little taste of my results right here. So what I wanted to do here with the review video is not only give you a little breakdown of the program itself, but my takes on it, what makes this a little bit different than some other Beachbody programs, and then how you can get involved with one of our online training camps if you're looking for some accountability, support, and for getting the best max results with Shift Shop. So, stay tuned. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro there, uh, this is a three-week program, the way Shift Shop is designed, and it's designed with what they call a stacked approach. So each week builds upon the one before it. So what this means is that your first week, your program, your workouts themselves are going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit less intense. Now, every single workout in Shift Shop is designed for you to go full force, max out. You know, do as hard as you can, modify where you need to, but of course, go all out. So the way that this is designed, they want to ramp you up not only in difficulty level, so that in the beginning there, obviously you're doing a little bit easier workouts. And each week is broken down into two basic workout layouts. You've got speed workouts and you've got strength workouts. The speed workouts are focused a little bit more on cardio, a little bit more on agility, things like that. This is where you use the Beachbody markers you'll see there on the ground. Uh, so you've got these little rubber markers that you tap. It gives you an idea of, of how far you need to travel in between each movement. And it also gives this whole sort of sports practice feel to the entire room. Uh, you'll see when you're looking on the videos themselves that uh, there's this sort of team unity within each one of the programs. And Chris Downing, our trainer, he does a great job with making everybody feel involved, especially the people on the other side of the camera, which is, of course, you. So the speed workouts, that's how they work. Now, when you go to the strength workouts, you're going to be using dumbbells, doing a number of movements, most of which are pretty simple movements, things like lunges, things like squats, push-ups. Uh, you'll be doing some burpee rows stuff like that. So all of the moves are familiar moves if you've done any other Beachbody program before. They try to keep them relatively simple and easy to do, especially up in the front. Then when you move on to week two, movements get harder. The workouts get longer. So when in the beginning you're starting with 25-minute workouts and then adding on a couple of core workouts at the end of the week. So you've got a core workout which is about 12 minutes. Then you move on to week two. Now your workouts are 35 minutes. So you got speed 35 and you got strength 35. And very similar to this, again, speeds are very much more about agility, strength workouts, more about resistance work, but also the movements get a little bit more complex. They'll add an additional element to each of the moves. So you'll be building on the moves you did the first week, but maybe adding an additional aspect to that move. So one example of this is uh, you're doing side lunges in the beginning of the program where you're just holding the weights, lunging to the side, and then coming back up. Now, when you go to week two, you start to do that a little bit more complex, where as opposed to just lunging down and coming back up, when you come back up, now you're doing a shoulder raise, pulling the weights up to your shoulder to the side lunge. And then in week three, they make it even more complex by having to stand on one foot when you come up to the top of the movement. So as you can see, the stacked approach is not just in the intensity itself, but also in what you're stringing together with the movement. So as you start to adapt and grow and learn, they try to challenge you a little bit more week after week. So in this sense, same as back in the day when you think about P90X, they talked a lot about muscle confusion back then. Now, all this really is, is challenging your muscles in different ways so that they don't plateau. So if you're doing the same exercise, you know, you just get into the gym and do your curls every single day, you know, you'll start to get stronger for a little while, but if you're doing the same barbell, the same weights, maybe a little bit more weight here and there, but mostly doing the exact same thing, you're eventually, you're your muscles are going to get used to that movement, and so it's going to be harder to break them down to be able to grow back stronger. You've got to change it with different movements, different angles, uh, if you want to get more results. So this is how they are working this in Shift Shop. So that's week two. Now week three, again, a progressively harder and longer. This gets up to speed 45 and strength 45. And each week, you're doing a couple of core workouts near the end of the week. So they let you get used to the new workouts without having to do a core workout on top of it at the beginning of the week. And then once you get into the strength workouts later in the week, like Thursday and Saturday, so you're doing at least two core workouts each week along with the workouts that you're doing with strength and speed. So that being said, that's a basic breakdown of the workout aspect of this. Now, the stacked approach also refers to the nutritional plan. 
And what's nice about this nutritional plan is that it builds off of the same sort of elements that we've had with other Beachbody programs, except one of the cool things about this is that each week he takes a few things away. And so as you're getting more intense with your workouts, you're actually having fewer things to eat. You're, you're cutting down your carb intake. Um, this is the big thing that they take out. So you're keeping up with your protein. You're eating things like egg and your lean meats or if you're a vegetarian, uh, your lean protein sources. But that being said, things like rice and whatnot, we start to cut out of the diet. By the time you get to the third week, the only kind of carbs that you're getting are things like sweet potatoes stuff. You've taken out the beans. You've taken out uh, the rice and the other types of carbs. And so you're keeping it very lean, um, just sticking with your proteins and your healthy fats. And in this sense, now you're working out harder. You're working out more intense. You're burning more calories. And you're putting less into your body that could be eventually stored as fat if you're not burning it off. So... Um, especially for those of you who have a little bit of extra weight to lose, this is a great way for your body to start to use more and more of your fat stores for energy on board here. So by cutting out these things so your body's not relying on the food as much, it's getting what it needs from the proteins and the fats and the other nutrients that you're taking in, plenty of vegetables. They, they actually have you up your vegetable intake in the third week. Uh, so you're getting plenty of nutrients. Uh, you're just not getting from, from probably the same sources that you're used to getting them from. And so your body's able to burn fat a bit more efficiently. efficiently okay? And so this is uh, how the program is designed to be able to get you max results in such a, such a short period of time, 21-day window. And as you can see from the original pictures, I got some pretty good results myself. Uh, we'll talk a lot about that a little bit more in just a moment. So that's a basic breakdown on the program. Now, my takes on the program, I want to tell you a little bit about this. Now, I've been in the Beachbody community for quite some time now. I've done a whole bunch of their programs. I've done all the P90X programs. I've done uh, pretty much all of Sean T's programs with the exception of his dance program. So I've done T25, done Insanity, Insanity Max 30. I've done uh, at least the first Asylum program. Well, at least almost all of it until I got hurt right before the end of it. But um, so I, I've been around the community. I've done uh, some of the Les Mills workouts as well. And one thing I will tell you about this is that as far as the workouts themselves and the movements, there's not anything all that much different or revolutionary compared with the other workouts. You know, if you've done other Beachbody workout programs, you'll recognize a lot of these moves. There's some variations in there for sure. Uh, but there's nothing about this program where it's completely different, all new, uh, you know, mind-blowing stuff that you've never seen before. Uh, but what is different is the sort of motivation that you're getting from Chris Downey, okay? Now, all of the trainers are great at motivating you, and each one has their own style. And you've probably noticed, if you've ever done a Beachbody program, that your personality will resonate more with one trainer over another, you know? So some people are diehard Shanti fans, some people are diehard Shalene Johnson fans with like Pio and Turbo Fire and stuff like that. Some people are diehard Tony Horton fans, and uh, you know, a lot of times people, you know, really only resonate with the one trainer, uh, or they resonate the most with them. Now, with Chris Downing, you know, I've liked things about all of our trainers. But with Chris, uh, I haven't seen any of the trainers go to the length that Chris does to really enforce the mental strength attitude and the sort of positivity that you need to keep throughout your workout. So not only does he keep this awesome banter going throughout the workouts with the rest of the crew and with you on screen, but he has a lot of things he has you focus on so that you're keeping the right attitudes, the right words in your head, so that when start, things start to get hard, especially as you start to ramp up in intensity, it gets a lot easier for you to stick with it or for you to want to stick with it because you're starting to tell yourself more positive things in your mind while you're working out. So he gives you all these great reminders and exercises and activities to do while you're working out to keep your mind on board. And I just want to give you a couple of examples of that. So first and foremost, uh, he encourages you to smile a lot through the workouts. This seems like a really silly thing. Uh, and when you're doing intense workouts, it's the last thing you want to do. But when some guy comes up and smiles at you and say, hey, smile, you're having fun. You know, just that little levity moment, you know, getting that back into your workout makes you enjoy it just that much more. It releases a little bit of endorphins. Every time he told it to me, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I should be smiling. This is a good time. You know, I might be struggling and I might be grunting and I might be sweating. But hey, I'm working out. I'm feeling good, and I'm glad I'm doing this. So that was one thing that I thought was really cool. Now, along with that, he also has something he calls shop rules, which is essentially uh, something for you to keep in mind at the beginning of the workout and take with you throughout the workout. This one sort of sentence or phrase or sort of mantra, if you will, 
to kind of keep with you so you have something to come back to focus on every time you start to get tired and your mind starts to tell you, oh, I don't know if I can do this and stuff like that. Just a few examples of those. Um, there is no limit to your spirit. He talks about this, and this is one, isn't one of the shop rules, but this is one of the things that stood out to me in one of the workouts. You know, oftentimes we get really tired. Um, we don't think our bodies are capable of things, and a lot of times it's more of a mental issue than it is a physical issue. You know, once our once we start to get really tired, our mind starts saying, quit, 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 quit. You know, and, and in some areas that's good in the sense that it's trying to keep us from getting injured. But more than anything, it's that we're, we're very far outside of our current comfort zone, and our mind doesn't think we can handle it. And a lot of times... That's not necessarily the case. If we listen more to our body than our minds, we realize our bodies are a little bit more, uh, a little bit more capable than we think they are. And so, being able to keep focusing, it's like I'm stronger than I think I am. I'm stronger than I think I am. I have more strength in my spirit. This can make all the difference in making you push just for a couple extra reps or go a little bit longer than you did the time before. And this is where the true growth happens. Now, a couple of other shop rules. One of them was try before you modify. I like that very much. They have a modifier on there. And if you're new to working out, you might want to do this. So you're not, you know, if you have knee problems, things like that. So you're not getting the same impact. But if you don't necessarily have an injury or anything like that, try it out before you modify it. Try it the full version before you do the modifiers. And that way, again, you're showing yourself by proving it's like, oh my God, my body actually can do this when you thought you couldn't. So it's, again expanding your mind beyond its current comfort level and its current abilities. Um, breathe through it. Uh, and all these things are things that you've probably heard in other ones. In fact, P90X had something similar with the tip of the day. Uh, Tony would often give you a tip of the day at the beginning of each workout, something to focus on throughout. It's the same idea here, uh, but just incorporated in a different way with shop rules. Aside from that, those are the main things that I wanted to point out to you. Um, again, I think one of the biggest things about this workout not only is it a lot of fun, not only is it simple to follow, so you don't have a, a complex, a huge number of workouts, you know, 12, 14 different workouts to do. You've got basically two different workouts of varying levels of intensity and ramping up the sort of complexity with the movements each week. But it's going to feel familiar. It's easy to build on each other. So you're not learning something brand new every single week. You're just adding on to what you've already learned. So it's very doable. The nutrition plan is simple to follow. Um, you know, it, it's it's... One of the simpler nutrition plans that I've seen put together by Beachbody, um, you know, there's a, a list of recipes, but you know, they, they don't make it super, super long. They don't say you got to do uh, this type of recipe here, this recipe here, this recipe here. It gives you basic portions to follow so you can make it very simple for yourself. And I found it relatively easy to follow um, and at least use the guidelines for even when I'm traveling. I'm shooting this review video from a hotel room. I do a lot of work travel myself. So having something that's simple that I can, you know, go out to a restaurant and still follow the basic parameters of that nutritional plan is really key for me. And this was a big um, element of why I got some great results with Shift Shop as well. So those are the basics of the workout plan itself, the breakdown, and my thoughts on it, what makes it a little bit different. Now let's talk a little bit about what we got coming up as far as online training camps and accountability groups. So if you're new to the Revved Up Man community, I do these online training camps every single month where we get together with a tight-knit group of people and we have a high level of accountability when it comes to your exercise and your nutrition, as well as that other element that I said that really set Shift Shop apart, which is building your mindset, building that positive mentality and recognizing that you're always more capable than you think you are. And this is something that I really like to instill in my group challengers, people who join my groups, and so if Shift Shop something that you feel would be a good benefit to you, and again, this is a program that I feel is going to be the basis of a lot of things. It's, going to, it's a great gateway into other programs if you want to be able to uh, do something more extreme like an Insanity or an Insanity Asylum. It's a great start to that to ramp you up for it. Um, along with that, if you're looking for quick results or you're just looking to get back on the train, build some consistency, that time frame of three weeks, 21 days, they say it takes 21 days to build a new habit. If you can stick with this for 21 days, nutritional plan, fitness and just showing up every day and giving your all, you will see some good results from Shift Shop. So that being said, I have a number of groups. You can check them out online. I've got my videos or my videos, my links down below in the description box that'll take you to the page for my 14 day fitness foundation as well as my 30 day fitness revolution. And we focus specifically on Beachbody programs in these, in these uh, different groups that we do. And so this makes it 
uh, to where not only are you working together with a group of people where you're all interacting together, it's kind of like showing up to sports practice, you know, you, you can't let your team down sort of thing. But along with that, um, you're also doing this and the same sorts of things along with people who have similar goals to you. So it makes it to where you're going on the same journey together at the same time, which what I found in the time that I've been a coach is the biggest key and the biggest determinant of whether whether or not people continue to show up and stick with the program. You know, there's so many people who go out and buy a gym membership or they hire a personal trainer and then they never show up for the appointments or they never go to the gym and they just keep paying the monthly fee. I don't want that for you. If you're going to invest in something like Shift Shop, if you're going to invest in your exercise, in your health, in your nutrition, then I want you to be able to get the results that you're look, really looking to get with that. And this is the best way that I know how to do this so that I can connect with you. We can work together individually on your goals, start to hone in on what you need to change about your nutrition, what you need to change about your daily habits, about your daily thoughts, things that might be sabotaging you right now. This is what it's all about here at Revved Up Man, and that's what we focus on in our 14-Day Fitness Foundation and 30-Day Fitness Revolution. So if you'd like to check out either of these groups, check out the links down below. You can check out them everything on my site at RevedUpMan.com. And until then, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this Shift Shop review. I'm really excited about my results. I can't wait to go on with the next three weeks of the more extreme version of this program. Uh, they have some more advanced workouts that you can do uh, through Beachbody On Demand. So if you have questions about any of that, Please feel free to shoot out to me, shoot out to me, shoot an email out to me. <laughs> uh, and then if you liked this video and you like what you see here on Revved Up Man, please subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook. we got a lot of great content there. I do daily motivational videos and just following along with my own personal health and fitness journey there. So if that would be a help to you, please do like that page and check us out over there. I'd love to hear from you. I look forward to working out with you in the next group that we do. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night and we'll see you soon.